What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, DC Taku, back in from the video. Today's topic is Dragon Ball Dima, episode 3 review. So, we go ahead and get into this thing. So, basically, they enter the demon realm. Um, they have to give the code. They have to stop at planet Batati. Batati, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, it's like a check-in before he can get to the actual demon realm itself. This glory old guy is basically... Um, on orders from King Caden from the third demon realm. Because there's three different, there's three layers, three, three demon realms, one, two, and three. And he was told by the king to go get Goku and him, whatever the case may be. So, and, uh, Shin, the Supreme Kai, he gives the location to Kibito telepathically playing a body. But when they actually get the pin code, um, because there used to be a pin code, um, to enter the demon realm, there's not enough time he doesn't do it. So he doesn't give him his his uh the pin access to get to the demon realm. So now he's worried because you know how would he be able to get into the demon realm to back them up, things go wrong, whatever the case may be. Um, which I believe going in the future in the, uh for the sister will come back. Uh you know, and she'll get them into the demon realm. That's my prediction on how they're gonna get there. Because from what we know right now, the sister is still uh, on Earth. Um we have not seen her. Since we know that from the first episode, she did travel to uh, Earth. We haven't seen her since then. So I believe they're going. she's going to give Vegeta, Piccolo, and them into the Demon Realm down the road later on. So, moving on. So they get into the Demon Realm. And we find out that uh, the air, there's gas. There's natural gas or whatever that uh, the Demon Realm produces. And it causes islands and parts of land to float. Volcanoes to float in the air. You know, masses of land floating in the air. And the heavier the gas, uh, the more things float. Um, you know what I'm saying? And the heavier it is for you to move. So it's hard for them to move. Goku has to get used to this. Almost like, I guess, training under gravity type of deal once again. So he's under these you know, particular uh, situations. You no know, condition. Because you know, he's smaller. He has to get used to the body. And now this new gas thing. Where it's making it even heavier and harder to move. So he's getting some serious, I guess you could say, training in on the go. Um... Kind of old school, uh, OG Dragon Ball with that for sure. Um, so then, no way to clothing, all that good stuff. So then we find out basically, uh, Shin, you know, Spring Kai is a uh, gleaned, I guess he called him a gleaned, a gleaned, and he's from the second demon realm originally. And the second is usually don't interact with the first or the second or the thirds, apparently. I guess there are levels, I guess the hierarchy is first, second, and third. Um, so. You can see a, a statue of King Deborah, you know, uh, Demon King Deborah from Boo Saga uh, is in the Demon Realm. Um, you, we, we keep going and we find out that uh, Glorio is does work in the first Demon Realm as well. And, you know, Swinger asked him, like, what kind of work? What exactly do you do? He's like, you know, this and that. He's he's very dodgy with questions. This guy definitely has some arterial motives. I believe this dude is eventually, he's using, I believe he's going to turn. He's going to have a heel turn. He is has definitely arterial motive here. He's very cold, very calculated, very to the point. You know, uh, very um, what's the term I'm looking for to fit him best? Uh, a stoic character, which is funny because Mira, who clearly this guy was designed off of, his character is the same way. He's a stoic character, so the mannerisms it's the same guy. You know, just rewritten differently with a different name. Nobody's gonna tell me differently. So, but anyway, so we find out that, uh, obviously, Supreme Kai does not trust this guy. He doesn't really answer questions directly. Uh, you know, he's very dodgy with questions. So, I believe this guy definitely has arterial motives. Um, he's telling the half-truth. So, they basically land. Um, Goku's messing around. And Goro tells him, chill out. You might fall into the, the, uh, the sea of darkness. And basically, it's instant death. So, that's something that you don't want to fall into, clearly. So we moving on, and we get into a city for them to land and uh, stay because it's nighttime on Earth. So they might get started getting sleepy. So they go to an inn. The dude try gives them a hard time, asking for an outrageous price for two rooms. And you know he threatens to do like, "What you gonna do about it?" He, like, he flashes the gun, and do you know he decides to cooperate really quickly. Uh, you he don't want no problems. You know he won't get his head blowed off. So they get the rooms, and they going to get they going to get some eagles. Goku's still hungry. Typical Goku. Go out straight to the bar, and some goons, some thugs, realize that Goku's not from the Demon Realm because obviously his ears, are, his ears are rounded, not pointed. And they, they kind of, you know, push him, you know, press him. Glorio takes two dudes out quickly and asks for another drink. You know, no thought about it. 
Goku uses his opportunity as he's getting attacked to do some training and get some, you know, get used to this this body and his air and everything. So he takes the whole group of goons on. Basically breaks off about all of them. And this is what you see from the, the trailer. Uh, those two plates, they use like a, like drums to bash dude's head in. So he's eating while he's beating the bricks off these goons. Typical Goku, OG. Um, I love it. It was great. So we go to the morning time. If They cut to the morning. And they go back to the plane that he had parked in that same city or whatever. Because you see the goons uh, a frame before that saying they'll pay for this. You know, we'll, we'll get them. Right? I was going to bring somebody bigger or stronger to fight them or something like that. But no, they <laughs> they stole their plane. They stole their vehicle. They stole their ride. Um, they come, you know, <laughs> the next morning and go to go to the plane. It's not there. There's a sign on it. It's not in Japanese. It was not translated on Country Road for whatever reason. So I don't know what it said. I would assume it said something like probably... You want your plane back? Come and pay this money. Come here, this and that, you know, or something like that. Some gen- some generic criminal, uh, you know, list or you know, what I'm saying list of demands. So that's more more or less ultimately what happened. So right now they're stuck in this town. Next episode looks like they're going to be doing some more fighting, of course. So they're going to meet that girl Pansy because you can see the outfit she wears from the trailers in the in the preview. So that's basically what happened. So yeah, I thought it was a good episode. Uh, seven half out of ten. So tell me what you guys think. To the next video, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out, y'all.